Hi there. It's Wednesday. It's my daughter-in-law's birthday, but I am. Uh, so hi, Rachel, happy birthday. But I want to do peak of the week. Peak of the week. I'm somewhere where I'm relaxing a little bit, by the way, right now. Part of my thing for healing and mourning and grieving, but peak of the week, I still wanna do these. It's your shot of spiritual caffeine to get you over the hump of the week. Here's my question to you. Do you have things in your life that you're like, don't go there with me? Don't bring it up, don't mention it, can't deal with it, don't wanna face it, just don't. Do you have things like that in your life? It is very easy to sort of decide when horrible things happen, hard things happen, decide to shut down that part of you, decide to say, I am shutting it, into a, uh, shutting it in a closet, locking it up, never, never will I do anything with that again. Don't even go there with me. Easy to do that for a lot of people. And uh, I put out, day before yesterday, yesterday I was traveling, but day before yesterday, I put out, and you're seeing this more, a quote that I used from my book, Meant to Live, hi there, a book from, uh, from, my, uh, from my book, Meant to Live, the quote is, the extent to which you enter into your pain with God is the extent to which genuine life is released in you. They're equal in measure. And I want to say to you, that is absolutely true. However, entering into your pain, whatever it is, sometimes is just too much, too hard. That particular thing is just requiring, right now, far too much for you. I'll give you an example from my own life. You guys would know because I put it out there boldly on social media. Hi there. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you. And I can see Adriana here. So good to see you guys. You guys know that when David was diagnosed with, with colon cancer, that there were particular words, messages that God was giving to me. Have you noticed I haven't said anything to you about that? And it's been over four months since he passed. I had put things out there because God had given me certain words, promises, messages, signs. Remember, I showed you guys, I'd written them on index cards and I had kept them on my desk. I kept them before me. I kept praying about them. You guys were speaking into them. I had my prayer team, different people were prophesying and speaking that they were hearing the same sorts of messages and confirming and standing with me on the promise and the promise was this will not end in death for David what do you do with that now I'm not going to go into the whole thing but here's what I want you to know Carrie Sharp I can see you Tammy and Pat you guys it's so good Carrie Lee I, I said that already so it's so good to see you guys what do you do with that here's what I have done with that I have taken all of that all of those, the promise, and all of those facets of the promise, and I figuratively put them in a box, put a lock on it, and stuck it up on a shelf, emotionally and spiritually. Why? Too much for me to handle. It's a whole other level of going there, facing pain. I'm not ready for it. I'm not saying I'll never be ready for it. I'm not saying, don't go there with me. I'm just saying not now. I can't right now. Now, my girlfriend, Ann Spooner, who's a counselor and has been for many, many, many years, said, she's the one that told me, put it in a box, put a lock on it if you need to, close it up, put it on a shelf, Nancy. And every so often, and this is what I have been doing, thanks to her, every so often, I take the, sh the, the box off the shelf, again, figuratively speaking, and if you need to use an actual box for this, maybe you need a physical box. It'll help you remember, right? Hi, Rushika, um, I'm from India. Maybe you need an actual box to help you with this. I don't right now. Sometimes I may though. But I figuratively put the whole promise and all those facets of the promise in this box, this imaginary box, I, put, I shut it up and I stick it on a shelf. And when I'm able, or when I feel like I want to, I take it off the shelf and I sit with the Lord and say, okay, about the promise, let's, I'm listening. I'm ready to talk about that or lament that. 
I'm ready to go, what the heck, with you. And then when I feel like that's enough, I don't have to plummet the depths with it. But I, when I'm done, I, when I feel like that's enough for now, I stick it back in the box, close the lid, put it back up on the shelf. Figuratively, you may actually want to use an actual box for this. It's a tip. That's how I'm handling the things because for me, while I'm smacking my chest, for me, while grieving the loss of David, another equally horrifying thing was that having that promise that God had given me and having people want to talk to me about that when I was not ready to talk about it. I hadn't even processed it with God. You may be in that same situation in some area of your life. Maybe it was a long time ago. Maybe it was yesterday. Maybe it was last year or during COVID sometime where you're like, don't go there with me. I want to encourage you, go there because it is true. The extent to which you enter into your pain with God is the extent to which genuine life will be released in you. So I want you to go there, but there are some things that you're like, I'll go there eventually. I'm not closed off. I'm not, you know, I'm not putting a lid on it and a lock on it and saying, never will I go there. I'm not saying that. I don't want you to either. But just for now, I can't do it right now. But in time, God will lead me. And then I'll begin having the conversations with him, with others. And by the way, I want to say this. There are times when I have begun speaking about this stuff and thinking about it. It's why I'm able to talk to you about it now. Where a girlfriend will bring it up and we'll talk about it a little. And then I'll say, okay, I can't talk about it anymore. I'm not mad about it. I'm just like, that's enough for today. I can't talk anymore about it. It's too big. It's too painful. That's enough. And I put it back in the box, back on the shelf for another day. This is your shot of spiritual caffeine to get you over the hump of the week. Go there in the painful situations. But if it's too painful, I hope it's helpful for you, Tammy. Anyone, I hope it's helpful for all of you. But if it's too painful, don't say never, I'll never go. Don't do that. Why would you cut off life? God's up to something in your life, just like he's up to something in mine, right? Why would you cut that off? No, just stick in a box. Stick it on a shelf. You may want to use a, fig, a literal box. In my mind, it's just imaginary. Stick it on a shelf. I'll pull it out another day, Lord, when I'm able. You give me the strength to do it. And then do it little by little by little by little until you can plummet. You can, you can mine the depths of the pain in that particular area with God so that genuine life will be released in you and in me. You guys, thanks for attending this peak of the week. Here I am away, just having a little rest, but it was so good to just meet with you. God bless.